Hey guys, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, we're going to look at how to configure your DNS settings. This video will show specifically how to do it in GoDaddy. However, these same principles will apply for any domain registrar. So first and foremost, if you haven't already, you'll wanna click connect your domain and make sure that you click edit here and fill out the information that will let our team know what domain you're trying to connect with your site. Once you've done that, typically our team can set those DNS records for you. However, sometimes if we're unable to, we'll send you those records, or you might choose to self-configure your domain and not have our team set it up for you. So this video will show you how to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click over to my GoDaddy account here. Here I am in my account. I've signed in. I wanna select my name and choose my products. From here, I'm going to see all of the domains that I have in my account. So in this case, I'm gonna set up sample domain three to display my website. I'm gonna click DNS here. Now I'm here inside the DNS records for my domain, sample domain three, as you see here. Now, most importantly, at this point in time, this is where this setup is going to differ. If you have a blog, our team will have sent you the necessary A record that you'll need to set. If you do not have a blog, then you can follow these instructions exactly and set the same records that I'll be setting here. So when you get into your DNS settings, you may have to add these records new, or you may see one already set up like this one here, which we can edit and change to point to show it. What we're doing in here is simply changing the values of some of these records so that your domain points to show it servers to display your website at your domain. So in this particular case, I'm setting up a website without a blog. So I'm going to use the universal IP address for show it sites that do not have a blog. So I'm going to edit my A record, which has a host name of at symbol here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and I'm going to change the IP address that it points to, to this universal show it IP address. So again, if you do not have a blog, you'll be pointing exactly to this same IP. I simply save that record and now it's been set here. Next, I need to add two more records. You have to add three records in total to set up your domain to point to show it. Any existing records in your account may have to deal with other integrations like custom email or a number of other items. Make sure to leave those alone. You only need to set the three that we're looking for here. Next, I'm going to set up our wildcard record. This is also an A record type. The host is just going to be an asterisk here and then we want to point it to that same option, the same IP ending in 2.7 here. So we'll add that and you'll see that it's added here. And last but not least, we're gonna set up a CNAME record. This is for the www version of your website to ensure that it will point to your root domain. So for here, with GoDaddy, I can choose to either add my root domain, which is just the domain without the www, or I can actually point it to my root domain record here, which is this at symbol. Some registrars will take either version of this. Some registrars will only take one or the other. So you can try both. If one won't take, the other will certainly do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my root domain in this instance. I'll click save, and you'll see that it has now added that for me right here. If you get an error when trying to add these records, there may be one that already exists in the account. So you'll just wanna scan through, see if there's a CNAME record with www as the name, uh, and then update that one there. Now, different registrars have different names for this content. This is type, name, and value. Some might say points to, some might say host. So in general, you always wanna be looking for the record type, which is just gonna be an A record or a CNAME record. Make sure that you have that value inputted there and then you'll want to make sure that you're pointing to the right IP and then with the CNAME record that you've either entered the at symbol or your root domain. You'll see here in GoDaddy, even though I entered my root domain, since it knows that that is what this record is for, it has updated to the at symbol. Once I've done this and set those records, I can jump back over to show it, click connect my domain, click edit. My domain will now be available to select. I can select it just like that, click save, close this out and I'm ready to publish my site live. One click is going to publish this site for me and I can now go to my domain where my website will display. 
Now, once you've connected your domain, you may notice this not secure message here. If you see that, our team can set up an SSL security certificate for you. Simply message our support team and let them know that you need an SSL certificate set up. They'll handle it from there. That's it, that's all you need to do to self-configure your domain and launch your Show It site. If you have any questions, just ask our support team. We're happy to help. Until next time, happy designing.